Hey, welcome back. Uh, decided to um, decide to hike tomorrow. Mostly because my phone is supposed to be coming uh, Sunday, and it looks like it's coming today instead. So that means I have to uh, hike tomorrow. There's one. You, uh, there are property crime issues all over Hawaii, um, especially in closed in areas like this with uh you know a lot of apartment complexes these are apartments but they're more like townhouses so we do have several stories it's not just a single story uh, but anyway it means there's a lot of people coming and going so uh, i don't want to lift out in the sun either which is freaking hot i know i whine about it all the time so i'm not going to go much further into that but i can see here uh talked about moving some of these down last night uh, and I'm going to kind of continue with that thread today. I don't know yeah. I don't know I don't know which I don't know, I don't know how this is going to turn out so we'll have to see I did talk about some round files and here you can see one I use for drywall um, to slightly enlarge a hole without, uh, so I can put an anchor in, not here, in case my landlord's watching. Um, this is one of the newer ones, but you can still see the rust is starting to happen. But the benefit of this is that you, you are getting a rounded conical face. This one's somewhat coarse, it's pretty coarse, it's just not very big. And since we were having trouble shaping here where the angle was getting a little dicey, we're going to switch to this a bit. You gotta move it a lot though, because if you start going in the same groove all the time with how, how small this is. So one of the benefits of a wide a wider file like this is that if I file into it, it's gonna it, it's gonna have a wide path onto it, right? Here I'm putting all that pressure into a small space. So if I keep going like this, it's only gonna touch this area, not the surrounding area, gradually, right? Like that's why these these half moon files are good. Um, allows for a more gradual process here it might be the right, the right way to go uh, it's just I this one isn't very coarse and so it's going to take me longer to remove material you could argue that it means I have to be less precise less careful which is true because of that shape shape is already there That's it. No, nope, it really is. All right, let's just go ahead and I can reach that from here. It's getting a bit of a lip there. Eventually I'll have to go through and make sure that I've narrowed this down to about the same point on both of these sides. I mean, most people aren't really going to notice unless they're looking, but it'll, it'll bother me. See, that's 
almost too thin. You see what I'm saying? I'll have to take this down for sure and feather this up here so that way it makes it a little bit more gradual, but I'm getting a little nervous about how thin this is getting, so I don't think I want to go much thinner than that. Uh, oh, I forgot my brush. Oh, where'd I put it? Oh, here it is. Hold on. Sorry about that. All the way around. Looks like I've got my little desktop fan going on here. I can't see that. I've got this turned down so that way you're not going to get bothered by traffic. I have to have the door open because of that delivery. So. All right. Let's, re Let's re verify this. So we go. All right, now, since this is so close to the side and I'm, I'm, I'm going to need to use the chisel for this. And down more to make it just a little bit more gradual it really noise the shit I mean with this back screen it turns itself off I use it a lot all right this needs to come down because of that it or not camera angle kind of sucks but I've got uh, like this makes this look bulbous over here now um, compared to this right uh, so this is more we've, we've started putting this gradually down this will have to come down because this, this is about to get thinner it's gonna have to be about this thin I really think I overdid that frankly um, but that's the way that goes This whole I look here and it's kind of like raised up. Let's go ahead and take that down. That'll cause some of this to need to be taken down. So let's just do that for now. Take a look. I didn't get rid of here. Okay. Let's look at this again. So now this area is up a little bit much. 
We went up a little bit, but not a lot. Not quite that much compared to the rest. And then, all right, I think that's kind of looking all right. Let's look at it from this angle. See, from here, it looks like this area is up a little too much. This appears a little bit bulbous. All right, let's take some down here. Kind of see it from that angle. There. So essentially, since this is now my limiting agent, if you will, um, I have to adjust everything else based off of this because I've made this a little bit too severe, unfortunately, and so now I have to adjust everything else off of this so it at least looks a little bit, uh, I don't say more natural, but harmonious isn't going to be the right word either, but at least consistent, I don't know if consistent start this is not the right word either. I, I guess I don't know what the right word is. Not look like it does now, right? <laughs> All right, let's roll. Okay. Right there, just a little bit there. Come on now. Alright. This is gonna come. I can already feel that that's a bit jagged, so. Okay. Got some stuff going on here. That's right. And this is, needs to be more gradual. Part of this will also have to be done with a file so it's a bit smoother, but that's just a little bit more gradual than, than that. All right, let's take a look again. This, this angle is a little high. Let's move that down just a little bit. So that way across the board. Yeah, this needs to come down. This needs to come down. It needs to be more. It needs to be a little bit more smooth. So we'll we'll do that. Uh, we're gonna work on this side. We'll have to work on this side too. Uh, and it'll make this look like less like a hump. Uh, so this will need to be taken down a little bit more to give the visual impression that it, that's kind of where things start. And they should start just about after the handle in this case, which is. We've got marked right here. So, we know we'll need to bring this down just a little. Keep it light. You'll notice that we haven't sanded it in a while. I know we did some, some sanding earlier uh, to, to, to try to make sure that we have the general shape, but we kind of already know that going right now. Um, and part of that is because I know that <laughs> with how dense the wood is, right? So less of it's gonna be kind of filled. Okay, then we have the initial this. That's a bad day when you see a tow truck coming on in here. It's about to tear out, so switch sides there. Okay. Still some red. It's alright. We'll have to work on that still. I mean, we're gonna work on this too. So 
makes these be a little bit more gradual, I know. So just make some quick ones. Okay. Alright, so this needs to come in a little bit more. So now I'm trying to match these angles just a little bit better than they are now. It's not going to be perfect. That's more for a file or for sanding. Bench grinder. Damn, that was the word I was trying to think of last night. A bench grinder. Help, and really helpful for me now. You know what I mean? All right, let's take a look on this side too. See how this. See how this is so different. It's dramatically different. This is going to have to come down significantly, I think. All right, we can do that. No. See, we're up a little high here. It seems to come down just a little bit. Do I really want that though? Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'll have to take down some of this for that visual angle there. Take down some of this for that angle there. So I want to get this back part ready before I start working on the head. Just one more time. 17. I got another minute. I'll, I'll, I'll give another minute or two on here. Right. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect according to the numbers, but we want it to look pleasing from the expected angle of use, especially, and then try to match that elsewhere. Okay. All right. Make these cuts and then give some observation do some markings and then I'll put this video up. I can already look at this and tell this is going to come down. But let's take a look. Just the thing it doesn't mean it's true. As you can see here, these aren't nearly as pronounced as these are. It's because when you hold it, we're looking at it from this angle, right? So it has to be this way, not the other. So if you look at it here, it actually, make, it actually matches a lot more. And so what we'll do when we turn it this way is we're trying to give it a, a more visual appeal, right? From the suspected actual point of view, like this needs to come down. This will kind of give it a turn a little bit that way, which means that'll need to come down. Okay. Now I can still see we have some stuff to do here with the, the neck. This might need to come down a little bit more. It doesn't look like it does here. I'll leave it like that. Take some of this down. Just come down a little bit. And this. Let's go. All right, so those are gonna be the next moves for our next video. So let me get this one on the GoPro, uh, off the GoPro, and then uh, we'll start the next video while the other is uploading. Cool. See you in a bit.